Hi all, hope all is well. On today's video, I wanted to take a different approach to doing my recordings and I decided to actually go down to the water to um, do my audio recording. So you've got the sound of the ocean in the background for a change. Now, today's video is actually about uh, material that is commonly used through modern civilization, um, but it is also one of the materials that is most commonly um, misunderstood considering how um, boring it is it's everywhere so as you may have guessed um, the material i'll be talking about today is concrete and i know um, concrete doesn't sound extremely exciting um, it should be one of the most boring subjects on earth um, but it most certainly isn't um, so what you'll find here is um, i went down to the beach and i wanted to try and identify as many calcium based products or calcium based components that I could find um, in nature. So normally, for example, if you lived out in the bush like I have done in the past, calcium based products or calcium based components, resources, are extremely hard to come by. Um, so in the past, I've actually had to go 60, 80 Ks um, east of where I used to live into the hills to actually try and find um, calcium based resources so the calcium based resources i was finding at the time then were actually limestone um, which is biogenic um, calcius be, uh, material so the way that works is all the limestone that you find out in um, the bush for example You'll, you'll discover that it comes from a, an animal-based product at one stage or another. So by saying animal-based product, what I actually mean is that the calcium carbonate that you find in limestone is actually the remains of animals long dead. So some of the limestone you dig up, you can actually find uh, fossils in the actual calcium itself. Um, but here, what I decided to do was actually just go for a walk along the beach and try and find as many objects as I could that contain calcium carbonate um, them, itself. And there's plenty of them. So basically any seashells that you find are calcium based. Um, pieces of coral are also calcium based. It's basically the exoskeleton of these animals that live in the ocean. Um, and the way limestone forms over, over millions of years is this material actually breaks down in the sand, for example, and then becomes um, almost like a secretion that gets filtered through the ground and solidifies. Um, so it becomes, um, it, it's a biogenic, and most concrete that we use in today's world is actually biogenic calcium products, meaning that most of the concrete we walk on comes from a life form in one way or another and i find that absolutely amazing you can see this piece here it actually looks like a piece of concrete it's actually a piece of basalt with the calcium carbonate uh, a piece of coral growing right next to it um, so what you can see here is obviously that's a piece of coral that's one piece of calcium carbonate that's another species of coral as well you can see the different formation on it um, that's a bit of a mollusk that one there so it's a shell that one there was like a barnacle it was actually growing off a branch so the branch must have been underwater for quite some time um, I'd say it was a mangrove and then the barnacles were growing off the mangrove um, another mollusk that was a cuddle shell that there's a piece of very fine coral so it's actually like a sponge but it's completely dried out and obviously yeah, another calcium carbonate product um, these little shells more mollusks um, another one as well there, um, the, the snail shells, you find them in the rocks here, um, they're, they're everywhere. Um, so hopefully this video has just demonstrated to you, um, if you weren't aware already, just how many calcium carbonate products are available just by going for a walk along the beach. Um, in a future video I'm hoping to actually make a movie um, producing calcium oxide from some of these resources that you find laying around um, and the reason you could make calcium oxide is purely to go ahead and make calcium hydroxide if you can make calcium hydroxide 
you're on your way to actually making concrete. And at some point in the future, I hope to present a video going through this process as well. And that way it gives you, the viewer, a better understanding of how concrete is made um, and one of the ways that you can actually manufacture it yourself. Um, it should also give you an overview of just how energy intensive making concrete actually is as well. And that's it for today's video. Hopefully um, you've gained some insight here. Um, if you have, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. Hit that like button. Please subscribe. I'm loving the subscribers at the moment. There's quite a few that I've gotten in the last month, more than ever, honestly. Um, and that's it for today's video. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye.